I get asked a lot of times, are you sorry for the crimes you committed? Hell fucking no. What would I be sorry for? You know what I'm saying? So are you sorry about, you know, the fact that you have to go to prison and be away from everybody? I'm not sorry for a motherfucking thing. And if I had the opportunity to do it again, if I needed to do it again, because I got that information in my fucking head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if mm -hmm. I needed to do it again, bitch, I know how to go back. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Time. So you got to think about that. You guys came in w at, during a time that you don't know how many lives you you affected. Mm -hmm. You I've, see what I'm saying? I've heard that. Real I've heard talk. That. Has anybody ever come to you and said, um, "Because of you"? Every day. That's the way they do. What's it. the most touching story? Give it up. Um, from my show, from CC Reacts, I had um a lady come. I had did um a video about me doing my PSI and how I went and told every fucking thing because I was instructed to do so not like ignorant you know what I'm saying not knowing that I wasn't supposed to tell those people shit and how they b made pretty much sum me up to be a monster on paper you know the PSI which is the pre-sentence investigation is not there to help you it's there to help them people lock your ass up for mm -hmm. a very long time but it was a young lady whose son was getting ready to do the PSI and he didn't know which direction he should go with it. You know, it was coming up. He hadn't had it yet. And she was able to um, relay what I had told well, my story to him and it helped him. And then he was released. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then I get um, it's, it's so many people, even with the, the my strength, they say my strength um, carries them over and it helped them um, shape their life. You know, and I talk, I talk to a lot of the people who hit me up, who watch me. I have, what, 65,000 uh, subscribers and they, you know, these people, I, I'm vocal. You know what I'm saying? I'm vocal as much as I possibly can, especially when it comes to the, the, the serious situations. And I give them my strength, you know, and because I just that's tell one them, thing you have, you have... I've been saying that since we started. I, I love and admire your strength. I can see your strength going over into even motivational speaking, going up there and talking to a lot of people just because it's different when you hear a speaker talk and you just hear them. But the way how you talk and the way how you talk with passion, I can feel it in my soul. It's a difference. It, it, it'll like touch a person and make them want to change, make them get up and change. You see what I mean? Yeah. Because of the way how you speak. I appreciate that. I do a live every Sunday and um, a lot of the things is like I'm very, very real with myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let you uh, turn me into something you want me to be. I get asked a lot of times, are you sorry for the crimes you committed? Hell fucking no. What would I be sorry for? You know what I'm saying? So are you sorry about, you know, the fact that you had to go to prison and be away from everybody? I'm not sorry for a motherfucking thing. And if I had the opportunity to do it again, if I needed to do it again, because I got that information in my fucking head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if mm -hmm. I needed to do it again, bitch, I know how to go back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And people, they, I get criticized because they say, well, well, how was it like in jail? I said, shit, for the most part, I had a ball. Well, you said you went to jail and you had a ball. Well, bitch, you want me to say I went to jail and I was miserable? Because you will be miserable? Check this out. Just because you go to fucking jail or prison, you don't stop fucking living. You know what I'm saying? I didn't give a fuck about what was going on out here in the world. It was nothing I could do about anything while I was behind those walls. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I adapted to my mind's environment and I live my motherfucking life and guess what I had a dope motherfucking time mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying if you adapt to your shit you gonna have a dope time too but motherfuckers like being miserable and then people like to place their fears and shit on you you can't place none of your shit on me I know Man, who I am that's dope but you know what because even when you talk about that we had a, rap, a rapper came on here and um, I posted about um, him saying that if he hadn't gone to jail I hear it all I hear people say it all the time I would either be dead, you know, or really dead, really, because, yeah. but it made me change, it made me a better man. And when we, when I posted the clip, I mean, they went in on Facebook, they went in on him and how oh, he's glorifying jail and that. Uh, Fuck But them. then you have the people who went to his defense and people were like, I'm in the same boat, I feel the same way. But you have those people that was really going in. Check this out. I'm, I'm going to tell you some real, real life shit. I went to jail for um, I went to jail for almost three years. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? When I was out in the street hustling, I was away from my kids. You know what I'm saying? But my kids was very well taken care of. Now, check this out. I don't choose, motherfuckers. Get a job. Check this out. I've been to prison. I still don't pass your bitch ass up. That's one. You know what I'm saying? I'm still way ahead of you. That's two. Um, 
You think about this. You motherfuckers go to these, and I'm, I'm not just knocking you. And it just is what it is, though. Because, like, people like people like to judge, but people don't like being judged. This some real shit right mm-hmm. here. You go to a motherfucking job, you working eight hours a fucking day. You know what I'm saying? And if you if money is tight, you got to do you got to do overtime. You know what I'm saying? Then, on the weekends, your ass trying to go out because you want a life, too. So how many fucking hours a day you away from your kids? A lot. How many hours a day you away from your motherfucking mm-hmm. kids? How many how many hours a day, how many days a week are your kids at somebody else's fucking house? You know what I'm saying? You mad at me because I don't want to feed my motherfucking kids top ramen. You mad at me. Dope. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.